Nimekuja hapa nikaona mtoto wa Ruto anatuongelesha. Wewe msichana don't address us. The president's daughter Shalin Ruto has been receiving a lot of backlash after addressing people yesterday. In her message she said that she hears the cries of Kenyans and that she is with us. Let's listen to this. I hear your voices. I understand your concerns. The challenges we face as a generation are real and pressing. From unemployment to the rising cost of living, we are all feeling the impact of our current economic situation. I want you to know that your engagement in our nation's affairs is not just welcome but essential. They all contribute to the vibrant democracy we are building together. She further stated in her caption, Today I was welcomed by 47 presidents of 47 county student associations, some of whom I have been working with for the past almost two years per ground, to participate in their agreement as young leaders. This is indeed what I encourage, constructive engagement. Let's be the generation that's not just for its passion, but for its innovation in governance and civic participation. I am here to listen, learn and work alongside you. I am here for you. As a result, she has been branded as an attention seeker and as a pretender. She has also earned herself a new nickname, Wiggy G. I don't know if you've heard about it. You can let me know what you think about the nickname in the comment section. I completely find it hilarious. And th th that's Kenya for you. You can never be sad in this country. But anyways, other than that, people feel that Shalin Rucho does not have any right to address Kenyans. People felt, you know, you are addressing us exactly as who. And here is an example of such a comment from a Kenyan netizen. Shalin Ruto, you are addressing the nation in what capacity? We already abolished the office of the first lady. We have never recognized the fake office you created, the so-called first daughter office. Another netizen said, Tunajua unataka kusema wewe ni leader wa Gen Z. We don't recognize you, Wigiji. It even got to a point Kenyans felt that, you know what, replying to her posts is not enough. Let's make full videos addressing her. You are feeling nothing. Hakuna kitu nasikia. Tunaumia. Don't address us. You are addressing us. Unatuongeza machungu. Uru kinyata mekua president. For 10 years, atu kuwai yona mtotu waki, atu kuwai yona msichana waki, atu wana to address whenever we had a problem. Come to think of it, how can Ruto take anyone seriously if he thinks Shalene is a child? First time I heard that man say, leave Shalene alone, she's just a child doing her childlike things. I thought Shalene was 16 years old. You know, I never used to know Shalene until her dad became president and she started hopping from one place to another trying to be relevant. I thought she was 16 years old. Shalene Ruta is 31 years old. Shalene is 31. And girl, it's not necessary. The yapping, you don't have to be on the streets yapping all the time trying to prove your relevance. We don't expect you to relate with us. Okay? I have never felt the impact of your activism or whatever you say you stand for. I have never felt it. We didn't look for Uhuru's kids. We didn't look for anyone's president's kids. We know you're privileged and you should live your privileged life as it is. If we are not going to feel the impact of what you stand for, just stay away. People also questioned whether Shalene is trying to mock Kenyans. This is in light with certain information that has surfaced online. One of them being some tweets that were tweeted by the late Jacob Juma back in 2015, where he said Shalene Chelegat, at the tender age of 21 years, owns 13% of Western Hotel valued at shillings 130 million against shillings 1 billion hotel value that she never worked for. And the other one being information recently released by Cyprian Nyakundi on X, which alleges that some of the institutions being owned by Shalene Ruto are some of the institutions misusing state funds meant for the youth. So if what Cyprian Nyakundi is saying and what Jacob Juma said are true, then is it really true that Shalene Ruto has the best interest for the youth or is all this PR? All in all, it is pretty clear that Kenyans don't want to hear from her. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I have been your girl, Ray Longari. Keep it here on BNN, where we keep you updated on everything that is happening in the 254.